Is this chair taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this chair taken? No, but I'm expecting someone any time now. Oh, thanks anyways. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this chair taken? Um, no, but I'm expecting someone in a minute. Would you mind if I sit here till he, she, or it comes? Mm, they do seem to be running a little late. You never know who you might be turning down. Sorry, nice try though. Is this seat taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sit there? Yes, I would. Oh. Is this chair taken? Uh, no, go ahead. Thanks. Uh, every place else seems to be taken. Great place. Mm -hmm. What's the book? I just like to read in quiet, if you don't mind. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm -hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, I like it. What's the book? Atlas Shrugged. Oh, Hemingway. What's the book? Atlas Shrugged. Atlas Shrugged. Love, Ayn Rand. Have you read it? Parts of it. He's great, though. She's great. Have you read it? Yeah, I read it in college. Where was college? I went to Oral Roberts University. <laughs> Where was college? Uh, Harvard. Do you like Ayn Rand? Love Ayn Rand. I mean, spent a whole year studying objectivism once. I just started. I was so excited after the first 10 pages, I went out and bought everything else she ever wrote. Unequivocally, the greatest experience of my life. I mean, all that incredible political understanding, page after page of gorgeous prose, her profound grasp on the morality of the individual versus society, the virtue of selfishness? Ugh. What do you think? I think she's a nut job. Do you like Ayn Rand? Love Ayn Rand. She's incredible. I spent a whole year studying objectivism once. I was so excited after 10 pages, I went out and bought everything else she wrote. All that incredible political understanding. Oh, and her prose is so gripping. And the way she's grasped the morality of the individual. Versus so society. <laughs> I can't believe I waited this long to read her. Well, you never know. You might not have liked her before. That's true. You might not have been ready for her. You have to hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Sam, by the way. I'm Sam. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I thought reading Ayn Rand was a great experience. Yes. Atlas shrugged. <laughs> My name's Sam, by the way. I'm Sam. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Do you come in here a lot? Every once in a while. How about you? Not as much as I used to, before my nervous breakdown. Do you come in here a lot? Why are you asking? Just interested. Are you really interested, or you just want to pick me up? No, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether or not I come in here a lot? Just getting acquainted. Maybe you're just making small talk long enough to take me back to your place to listen to some music. <laughs> or you've got some cool new David Lynch Blu-ray DVD. I actually fall for it. When all you really want to do is fuck, which is fine, you know, but you suck at it. After which, you walk into the bathroom and pee with the door open, as if to say, I'm an open book. And then we'll spoon and have pillow talk only for you to confess to me that you've got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away at medical school in Belgium for a year and that you've been with her off and on in what you call a very complicated relationship for about seven years. None of which interests me, Greg. It's Sam. Do you come in here a lot? Every other day, I think. I come in here quite a lot. I don't remember seeing you. I guess we must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different time zones. It's amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. It's crazy. We probably pass each other on the street every single day, right in front of this place, probably. Yeah, I bet you we even have mutual Facebook friends. <laughs> 
I don't do Facebook. It's amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and never even know it. It's crazy. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Uh, boyfriend. Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? My husband. What's a sort of boyfriend? My lover. And here she comes right now. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a lovely Friday afternoon, isn't it? Reading here all by yourself? Do you think so? Well, sure. What's an attractive woman like you doing all alone when you could be enjoying me? Trying to keep away from lines like that? No, listen, I... What's an attractive woman like you doing all alone when... No offense, but... I haven't been alone in a long time. Oh. You see, I just broke off my engagement. Oh. <sighs> and he hates me. I'm sorry. Well, listen, since reading by yourself is such a sad occupation, especially on a day like today, would you like to go elsewhere? No. We could do anything. No, thanks. How about a movie? I, I don't think so. Big chance to let Ayn Rand catch her breath. All that philosophizing gets her pretty tired. Thanks, anyway. OK. I appreciate the invitation, though. Sure thing. Sort of a sad occupation for a lovely Friday afternoon, isn't it? Reading here all by yourself? I guess I was trying to think of it as existentially romantic. <laughs> Cappuccino, great literature, reading outdoors. Well, that only works in Paris. Now, we could hop on a late plane to Paris, catch a Concorde, find a cafe. I'm a little short on plane fare. I don't think they fly Concords anymore anyways. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I was going to the movies. Want to come along? That's a very nice offer, but... Uh-huh. Girlfriend. Two, actually. One of them's pregnant, and Stephanie. Girlfriend. No, I, I don't have a girlfriend. Not if you mean that castrating bitch I dumped last night. Girlfriend. Sort of. Sort of. What's a sort of, sort of girlfriend? My mother. I just ended a relationship, actually. Oh. And she hates me. I'm sorry. To tell you the truth, I feel, uh, a little bit at sea. So you didn't stop to talk because you're a Mooney or you have some weird political affiliation? Nope. Straight down the ticket, Republican. Straight down the ticket, Democrat. Can I tell you something about politics? I consider myself a citizen of the universe. I'm unaffiliated. That's a relief. So am I. I vote my beliefs. Labels are not important. Labels are not important, exactly. Take me, for example. I mean, so what if I had a two-point at, a three-point at, a four-point at college, or if I did come from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Westchester County? Sure. I believe a man is what he is. A person is what he is. A person is what they are. So what if I admire Trotsky? So what if I once held my best friend's penis? So what if I like 10,000 maniacs? So what if I spent a year in the Peace Corps? I was acting on my convictions. Sure. You can't just hang a sign on a person. Absolutely. I bet you're a Scorpio. Absolutely. I mean, who gives a crap if you're born under a sign that makes you an intense, obsessive, complex, manipulative, but loyal and passionate soul who lives life to the fullest, for better or for worse. Doesn't mean you are. Maybe I am. I like what I like and you like what you like. There's no right or wrong. Right. You can't force these things. It takes time. It takes work. Wait. I breathe oxygen. Right. You breathe then oxygen. Shut up already. <laughs> One day, we'll get in the time job anywhere we want to go. Day, this, we'll this stay in a five-star mini bar luxury hotel room. Cause all